Shalom Aleichem. It's Chayel today. And the Shabbos Lichas. So we'll talk a little bit about Chayel. We'll connect it a little bit to an attitude, a perspective, and something that I saw with Rabbi Yoyo Khan, who recently passed away. I was once at a Fabrengen in Yerushalayim, I think actually it was Bet Shemesh. The Mashpia Rab Chaim Sholem Deitch was Fabrengen. It was a whole group of Polish Hasidim. And he said to them, You know, if I wake up in the morning and I think about myself and family, many times I get sad because there are issues that are not exactly 100%. But when I think about other people and what I can do to help other people, I become happy. And he urged everyone to stop thinking about themselves and think about others. Chayel, 12 days left to Rosh Hashanah. Each day corresponds to a previous month. What do we do during, those, during that month? What needs correction? What needs improvement? The saying is, Chayel brings Chayas, it brings vitality, enthusiasm to the Avoid of Elul or to the Avoid of Anila Li, to the Avoid of Tshuva. But I want to focus on that word, Chayel brings Chayas, life. If you're alive, you can make others alive. If you're not alive, you can't make others alive. Many people talk, teach, but it's not inspiring. It's missing the oomph. It's missing the life, the chayas. So even when it comes to doing tshuva, even the, when it comes to returning to Hashem, if you want to be successful, the message of today of Chayel is the birthday of the Alter Rebbe and the Baal Shem Tov, born both on Chayel, is to do things with highest enthusiasm, whatever you do. My Bashpir Rabbi Yoel, when he would teach us chassidus, when he fabrained, or even when I spoke to him privately at his Shabbos table, and I did many times, what drew me there? Was it his genius intellect? Was it his warm heart? Was it his Hasidishkeit? His Hasidic lifestyle and behavior? Those are all true. He had all of those things, as we've discussed in numerous clips, which I really urge you to, to listen and watch and share. Not because I made him, but because I share him with you. And there's so much to learn from him. It all began with this Nekuda, with this point. Chayis. Even before he came to the Rebbe, he was alive. When he came to the Rebbe in 1950, from the first day that he got off the boat, and he came to 770, and he became right away someone who wrote down what the Rebbe said and became the Rebbe's Chayzer, his chief reviewer of Sikhs, of talks, and Maimorim, and other things. It was all done with Chayas. And that's why people ask, did he ever get upset? Did he ever get angry? Absolutely! I don't know, I don't, anger, but upset for sure. Why? Because he was Chayas! A living person who's alive, if something they feel is wrong, they're going to let you know. That's part of living life of being alive. What's the difference between a dead person, God forbid, and a live person? A dead person is motionless, is silent. Shh, calm. You know, they say you go into a shul, and if it's quiet, it feels like a cemetery. You go into a shul, and there's chayas, and they're davening, and some people are talking, not that's the way it should be, but it's happening. 
people like going to such a shul. People like being around younger people who are full of life. I always say the best thing for older people is to daven in a shul with young people because that'll keep them younger. Remendel Futafas taught the following. If a person lost their money, they're still a person. If they lost, God forbid, their health, they're a half of a person. And if they lost their mood, their drive, they're no person. They're no longer a person. Chayas is drive, right? Chayas, enthusiasm, vitality, energy, movement is a sign of life. Where as long as there's a sign of movement, there's a sign of life. So as we go to Rosh Hashanah, and we're all starting our our 12-day period. You know, there's a 12-day step program. Well, this is our, the Jewish 12-day program of coming closer to Hashem. Do it with Chayas. That itself and will, will be good and bring good things. And guess what? For that, you don't have to be a, a great scholar and a great... Uh, Ayyved Hashem, servant of God, for that every single person, every single Jew, if he or she makes a decision to be more alive with your children, let your children see that you're alive. Yes, and that means sometimes you're going to get frustrated and upset about something, but they see something's boiling in you. It, you're taking it seriously. It means something to you. That will go a long way. So with this in mind, we wish each other Silvach Simatoiva may be written and inscribed for a good and healthy new year. Shana Toiva Masuka, a good and sweet year. And only good things, may Hashem bench each and every one of you to have only good things. L'chaim, l'chaim.